this video we're going to be installing and setting up the shoot module. We're going to download the shoot module, we're going to activate it and set it up. So the shoot module is basically enabling us to have a base auth functionality really quickly simply by installing and setting up the module. So we're going to copy this bit from the URL on drupal.org and as usually we're going to jump to our project's code base and in the folder where we have the composer json file we're simply going to run composer require drupal slash and the bit from the drupal.org's url perfect so this way we simply downloaded the shoot module with the help of composer require and now if we jump to the Drupal instance, we're going to open the extent page and, and we're going to search for shield. There it is, PHP authentication shield. We're going to simply install it from here. Perfect. And now if we search again for shield, we see that directly from here we could open the configuration or we could simply go to configuration and then shield. So all we have to do now is we simply have to set the credential provider and we're going to have to set the username, for example, test and for password, let's go ahead and set test 6666 perfect and the authentication message it's not actually working that good basically we can type something but it's not appearing last time I checked it let's go ahead and say hi hi buddy you simply have to login with the user and pass I sent you okay and save configuration and basically if we open any page now Usually it would ask you directly for the user and password, but definitely if we simply open the page as not logged in. For example, if you have a development environment and you want your client to be able to see it, but no one else to be able to see it, you simply enable the shield module. For example, here, if you just click cancel, you don't see anything. You don't see even the not logged in version of the Drupal website and if we refresh now and if we simply type test and test 666 and if we click sign in we're now able to see the actual Drupal instance which is the whole idea of the shield module so if we open again the shield module is activated again and you have to log in. As you see, we don't actually see that message that we typed, but it's not a big problem. Usually this is good enough and it works perfectly. So if you like this video, please check the links in the description, like, subscribe, ask if you have any questions for this topic and thanks for watching.